Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll solve one more problem in which we have to compute the weighted average cost of capital. So the question is on the screen. They have given the sources of nuts. They have given the values. Then they have given the expected after tax costs. So you have to have five columns. In the first column, write the sources. So whatever they have given in the question, the same sources as it is, you write down. Then the same values, you have to write it in the second columns. So second column, you can name it as values. So you have to add everything. 10 lakh plus 4 lakh plus 4 lakh plus 8 lakh. This gives you 26 lakhs. Now W stands for weights. We need to find the weights. For that, you have to divide each source by its total. So 10 lakh divided by 26 lakh into 100. If you do, you will get... 38.46 then 4 lakh divided by 26 lakh into 100 if you do you will get 15.38 next is also 4 lakh so the same amount you can write next 8 lakh divided by 26 lakh into 100 if you do you get 30.77 when you add all these four items you should get the total of 100 summation w will be 100 now expected after tax costs they have given in the question 12, 8, 14 and 14. Now we need WX means multiply these two columns. Multiply these two columns. 38.46 into 12. You will get for, sorry. You will get 461.52. Then 15.38 into 8. If you do, you get 123.04. Then 15.38 into 14, you get 215.32. Then 30.77 into 14, if you do, you get 430.78. Now add this column, you get summation WX, that is 1230.66. Now we can use the formula of weighted average capital, that is sigma WX divided by sigma w so sigma w x is 1230.66 divided by 100 so you will get the answer that is 12.31 percentage that will be your weighted average cost of capital this is how you need to solve the problem hope you have understood how to solve the problem in my further videos i'll come back with some more problems related to weighted average cost of capital